Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking Feeling Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is a Safflerbond.com contributor video. And today I'm going to go ahead and review Corel by Parfumerie Générale. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll have a chance at winning a bottle of Corel worldwide. So please stay tuned. So I've been very intrigued with Parfumerie Générale. Ever since I was visiting Aix-en-Provence in uh, France, there was a little perfume shop there, a very, very tiny, really cute perfume shop. And she had a whole wall of the brand's fragrances there. And I went through the whole entire line and fell in love with several of them, but, you know, being on a budget on a holiday, I ended up buying Cose, which I absolutely really love as a fragrance, one of my favorite spicy fragrances uh, of all time. But when I had the opportunity to review Corel, I was really intrigued by it, especially since the story about the fragrance was inspired by a Curel de Brest, uh, which was adapted for the cinema by Rainer Fassbender. I went to film school, so I studied a little bit about Fassbender's films, especially Curel, which was written by Jean Genet. So Jean Genet's book, Curel, was made into a film by Fassbender. So that was the inspiration for Curel. And what a great fragrance this is. And the nose behind the brand is Pierre Guillaume, and this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. The fragrance retails for $125 for a 50 ml. And the notes for this fragrance are citruses, Iranian black caraway, myrrh essence, cinnamon rose, vetiver tonka, ambergris, oak moss, and incense. Boy, what a great fragrance this is. I mean, I'm blown away by how refined it is and how it is inspired by the fragrances of a generation long gone. I remember as a kid, my dad used to wear fragrances, and when I put this on, it reminds me of those fragrances that he used to wear in the 70s. So it's got this like bold inspiration of fragrances of the past, but it's not a, a fragrance when you put it on that's gonna smell dated or something from the past. It's very refined, it's very modern. Sometimes when I put old, older fragrances on, they just become too bold. This one actually is a little more softer. It's a little closer to the skin, which I enjoy because sometimes when I'm out and about, I want those bigger and more kind of louder fragrances. But when I'm gonna be in a crowd of a lot of people, I don't wanna put those on. But this is when I would grab this fragrance because it has everything going for it from those older, more powerful, powerhouse type fragrances, but it's a lot more closer to the skin and where I can put it on and enjoy and smell great, but that I won't like overwhelm the crowds around me. So there's a lot going on with this. This is mostly a vetiver fragrance, but the vetiver actually is more on the base. It starts out with the citruses, the black caraway, and the cinnamon rose. The only thing that's really bright in here is the citrus. Everything else is pretty dark. So it kind of puts me in this place where I'm walking into a dark, very fragrant forest and I start really enjoying the smells of the surroundings. Once the fragrance kind of starts maturing on me and it goes into the heart notes or the middle notes, I start picking up the resins, the myrrh and the incense, the frankincense, and this is where it kind of starts becoming more gothic and church-like, where, where I really, really like this scent. It's mostly a vetiver again, but the vetiver is there right now. It's in the background. It's not coming out yet. But once the fragrance is further matured on me and it's heading into the base notes is when I start picking up this very green and earthy vetiver, which, I'm, as you know, I'm a huge fan of vetiver. This is when it just comes alive on me. I really love that vetiver. As I said, it's a very refined fragrance, but those of you that like those fragrances of the past, you know, the 80s, the 70s, are really, really going to appreciate something like this because it does definitely uh, have inspiration from those eras. At least to me, it's a very, very clean scent, but very dark and very cozy. Overall, I really, really enjoy Corel. I love wearing it. It's an excellent fragrance. It's when I want to be a little bold but not overwhelm people is when I pull for this fragrance. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a giveaway over at Sathlerbond.com. All you have to do is head over there, there's a link in the info box, register if you haven't registered yet, and put a comment down, follow the rules there of the giveaway. This giveaway is open worldwide, so now you have a chance at winning a, a whole bottle like this, which is, as I said, an awesome fragrance. 
So go there and check it out and do participate in the giveaway and one lucky winner will get that chance to get this bottle. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on Parfumerie Generale's Corel or in general the brand itself. I do want to explore the fragrances from this house more. There are a few others that I really, really want to try, like Indochine and Musk Maori. Those are two that I've got my eye on that I'd really like to check out. But let me know, do you know this brand? Have you explored it? What are your thoughts about it? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <music>